Well, thanks for stopping by. Today we're having problems with our engine hoist cherry picker. Attempting to get this axle out of here, and this is as high as it will go. So, we're going to add some fluid. Because it's been leaking anyways, and I'm sure that'll be another video where I go and figure out how to replace the seal on that. I've done that before. Because we're going to top off the fluid. Because we know it's low, because it's been leaking. Lower all the way down. So we're going to pull off this plug right here. Just like that. And the fluid we're going to use is from Napa Hydraulic Jack Oil. This was like $9. You know what? We'll use her. And we're going to try and use a pump like this instead of a funnel. So we're going to see if this will work. So this is typically used for putting gear oil in the rear ends or transfer cases or stuff like that. So we're going to try it out, see if this will fit in there. This didn't fit into the jack. So we're going to try and use this guy. We can get this on there pretty good. It should stay as long as we keep some pressure on it. And so we'll just cut off the end here to make an opening. So that'll work. And so this is just a cap off of a plug off of a gear oil quart. And it's just using pressure to get in there. Fine. Try it out. Pop open your quart of jack oil here. Just like that, we're ready to go. So there seems to be some, you know, 50-50, whether the arm should be up or down, where the hydraulic cylinder all the way compressed or all the way extended. Uh, I feel like it should be compressed so then you don't get too much fluid in it and then it shoots all out so we're gonna try this out I'm not expecting it to take a whole lot of fluid because it's not empty and right now the the valve is open down here so Yeah, it didn't really work for me. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to take off the ram. Okay, we got the ram out here, horizontal. So we're gonna try this here with this plug. So this will fit in there nice. And this pump thing here is not working right, so we're gonna X that out of here. Let me try this guy. So you gotta let the air come out. You know this is open. So I'm just putting some fluid in there and then I'm lifting up a little bit to let the air out of the cylinder and then the fluid can go down. Alright, that should do it.
So we're gonna try and get some of that air out. Close this up, Is that open. And get the little plug back in. Here's a trick that I learned. Instead of pumping it like crazy right now, you can just lift it. And then you hold it for a little bit. And voila. What's up? So you can get it to the, the spot you need to just by lifting it. Hold it for a few seconds. Now you can pump it your final distance. You don't got to pump it all the way from the bottom. And another trick with these bolts, do not make them too tight. They need to be able to pivot. And then this one here, your adjuster, always keep that just hand tight. Well, there you go. That's how you fix an engine hoist. And you can see it makes a mess, but I mean, it was leaking, it was leaking already. So you have to fix those seals. And I'd actually like to change that to an air one. Maybe I'll do that someday. We'll see. So thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. Later.